Hey everyone, it's Michael Goosebumps fan. I hope you're doing well. I have some Goosebumps news for you guys who uh, haven't heard about this, who care about this. I don't know what you think, but first and foremost, I just uploaded a uh, Things Like Goosebumps video before this video, and I would like to know what do you think about this new setting? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Does the sound sound like trash? What do you think about all that? I really want you to be honest so I can know. It's kind of comfortable having the X-Rocker chair. I don't know if I'm going to still continue to review in this movie, or this uh, room, but if you like it, let me know. If you don't, really let me know, because I really need to know to make you guys enjoy. Well, I guess not make, but hopefully you'll enjoy what you see. Anyway, so, as you know, the Goosebumps TV show is a thing. Um, the new one. The new one from Disney. And I'm not thrilled about it. I've made my thoughts known very well how much I uh, detest Netflix. In this case, it's not Netflix. In this case, it will be Disney+. Plus. Not a fan of either of them. And uh, I've done everything I can to avoid getting an account, and I guess I'm going to have to succumb to getting one when this show gets released, I guess, next year. I don't know when this stupid show is coming out, but I'm excited on one half to see mainly recreations of monsters that I've loved for a long time. A long time. And stories maybe I've never seen adapted, adapted for the first time. I'm really excited about a lot of those things. I think that's what most people at my age are excited about with this show, because the show is probably going to be bad. I mean, it's Disney+. Plus, But... Sometimes, sometimes, not rarely, or not commonly, especially lately, Disney Plus doesn't get a lot right. Um, they messed up Obi-Wan, they killed Star Wars before Obi-Wan even <laughs> happened, they've, they've ruined a lot, and let's just be honest. Um, I really, really, really uh, am curious about what's going to happen with this show. Mainly with this new casting call that was announced, or not call, but the announcements on who's going to be in this new Goosebumps show. Now, of course, Rob Letterman's involved, who did the two Goosebumps movies, which really surprised me. Robert Letterman is involved again, which is kind of neat. I'm kind of curious if we'll have any cameos from anybody, any kind of references to the Goosebumps movies. Does that mean that, like, Slappy's going to look the same if he's in this show at all? What are we going to do here? Is it going to tie into the Goosebumps movies at all because of the uh, general concept I'm about to get to in a moment? As a TV show, how long is the season going to be? We don't know any of those questions, uh, answers yet, but I'm extremely curious. And the big thing here is the casting announcement. I'm not really thrilled about it. One person I am, you probably know who it is, is probably the only person you know from this list. I don't know pretty much everybody but two people. <laughs> that's really, that's really it. And, uh, Again, it, it has potential, not because I haven't heard of many of these people. It has potential, but I have my theories, my thoughts, and I'd love to hear yours down below on the casting. Anyway, for people who don't know, about four days ago they made another announcement. Apparently there was one previous to this that I didn't know. We got the general plot. I want to read you the general storyline plot that was given to us about a month ago. I do think this is worthwhile. I didn't know some of the people who are already attached to this that I'll already talk about, and then I'll talk about the new, new people. <clears throat> anyway... The original logline, according to this article, was uh, the thing I talked about in one of my previous videos about the supposed plot of this new show. This is from Disney. This is not some online thing from, like, the Goosebumps wiki or something. This is from Disney directly, right? The series follows a group of five high schoolers. Yes, high schoolers, not middle schoolers, not middle graders, not kids, not children, nothing like that. We're going to do high school stuff. So I guess we're going back to the Goosebumps movies. That's what I'm saying. There should be some kind of tie to that, in my opinion. Anyway, the series follows a group of five high schoolers who unleash supernatural forces upon their town and must all work together, thanks to and in spite of their friendships, rivalries, and pasts with each other, in order to save it, learning much about their own parents' teenage secrets in the process. So again, are we going to reference the Rob Letterman movies, or are we going to do something different? I don't really care one way or another. I'm fine one way or another. Goosebumps 2 Haunted Halloween doesn't even mention Halloween or Goosebumps 1, the 2015 flick. I don't really care about that. The books do that too. Slappy will survive into, like, Dummy 2 or Dummy 3, and you don't really know how, and you don't need to know how. It doesn't really matter. He just came back. Just accept the fact that he can come back like Jason Voorhees, even though he's made of wood and not a zombie. Uh, maybe he is a zombie. Can dummies be zombies? If he's a zombie that's... If he's a dummy that looks like a zombie, is he a zombie dummy? Anyway. <clears throat> so, I'm already not thrilled with the direction we're going. Not that I have a problem with the Goosebumps movies. I like both quite a bit. Uh, even love the first one. But with this show, are we going to make a giant mistake here? 
Is there, is there a possibility we could? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm just a little curious. Now, if we turned out to have, like, the main kids from the original movie come back or, like, have some of the casting here be those characters from the first movie, like Champ, for example, I'd be cool with that. Not that that's been announced. I'm not putting that in your head. I'm just saying, if it was, I would like that because I liked that movie and I like Haunted Halloween. <clears throat> anyway, let's go on to talking about some of the people who apparently were already cast for this. I, I didn't know this, but uh, apparently previously we had some people that were announced for this movie, if I can find the people. Okay, so apparently previously announced were... Anna Yi Puig, I'm sorry, I'm really bad with names. I can't pronounce most names. I have mush mouth syndrome, I guess. I'm just bad with names in general. Uh, we have her. I don't think I know her from anything. We have Miles McKenna. I don't know him. Uh, Will, Prow Will Price, excuse me. Again, I can't read. It's very late. They'll know who that is. And Justin Long. Yeah, Justin Long from Kevin Smith's Tusk, from Jeepers Creepers, from a lot of things that you probably know. And immediately when I heard that, I was like, he would be amazing as grown-up champ from the first film, 2015's movie. He would be a great lead as the lead from 2015 if we're going to have him as an adult character, as one of the parents or whatever, which he would be right at that age to play that kind of character. He would be great as that role. I really think that. Um, and Justin Long is just fun in general. I really like him. He's one of my favorite, more comedic-style actors in Hollywood. He was just recently in Barbarian. I haven't seen that, but my mom did. Uh, she said he was good, but the movie sucked. I don't know if that's true. Haven't seen it, just saying what Mama said. Uh, so, I'm shocked that Justin Long is in this. And I'm also worried, because one of two reasons, right? Number one, if you pick a really good actor from Hollywood, in my opinion, he's a really good Hollywood actor, even though he's kind of in smaller projects and always kind of has been. But everybody kind of knows him. My wife knows who Justin Long is. Is he going to be the villain in this show? Is he gonna play a villain? I would kill for Justin Long to play Slappy. That'd be another pick aside from Mark Hamill or the original voice actor for Slappy. I would kill to have Justin Long as Slappy, but I don't know what kind of voice he could do. I would rather him be a parent character, even though I think Goosebumps should be more about the kids, the teens, whatever you want to call them. What? Why? Justin Long doesn't need to be in here that much, and I kind of hope the parent characters aren't here that much. Maybe he could play like a Mezo or something. I don't know. I'm excited to see him. I just like Justin Long in general. Uh, he will bring something fun to this, like he did with Tusk. Tusk is a bad movie. <laughs> a really, really bad movie. If you haven't seen Tusk, you're talking about a bad horror film that I've made fun of quite a bit <laughs> since my mom and I saw that years ago. But I like him. He's always good. He always brings something fun to movies when I see them. I'm curious what's going to happen with that. Anyway, there's two more casting uh, people, which, by the way, I have another reason of why I'm not excited about Justin Long possibly getting ruined in this. He's either going to be a villain, or he'll be well cast as, like, Slappy or something like that. Or, or he could just be, like, grown-up Champ, which could be really good. I would like that a lot. I would like for his nickname to be Champ in this, which would be the old movie, 2015's character. That would be cool. I would love that. I think he could pull it off if he wanted to. Now, there's two more people who got uh, cast here. Zach Morris, who I feel like I know this name from somewhere. I don't think I've seen this guy in anything. I looked into his IMDb page. I don't know him. I just don't. I think he's on some show called EastEnders or something. I don't think I've ever heard of that. I don't know anything about it. He might be good. I don't know. Uh, and Isa Briones, who I think is the girl from Star Trek Picard. that played like the main lead actress, aside from Patrick Stewart, in that show. That show is awful. Don't get me wrong, that show's awful. But she, I feel like, was dealt a poor hand. She got a poorly written Star Trek show, right after Discovery was a thing. Picard's real bad. It ain't no Next Generation, it ain't no Shatner's original show. It's a shame, frankly, in my opinion. I would take the J.J. Abrams movies over top of, that, of these newer shows, right? That's my opinion, that's my stance on it. But I don't want to blame her for how bad that show is. I don't think she did necessarily a bad job. I think she was given a bad job to do. Does that make sense? That's really well done. Why didn't I say that before? Uh, I think that's the case. So she might be good. She's the only other person aside from Justin Long that I know of in this show so far. So far. I'm immensely curious to see what Isa, I assume is how you say her name, or Issa, Issa? I don't know. It's I-S-A. 
that could be a cool actress to have in here. I don't think she's old enough to play a parent. She looks like a teenager, but maybe she's one of the teenagers in the show along with the Zach Morris guy. Uh, I think he looks young from what I could tell on the pictures I saw. It might be old photos. I don't know. But I am immensely curious what in the world this Goosebumps show is going to be like. What could they possibly do with this? And there's also some characters, uh, stuff that are told about their characters. For example, Zach Morris is going to play a guy, uh, a popular star football player whose financial struggles at home has him and his family banking on his athleticism to secure him a full ride to college. I don't think it's awful as an idea, but it doesn't feel like goosebumps. And that's the bummer thing about this. It, a lot of it doesn't feel like goosebumps. Now, to be fair, the 2015 film and Haunted Halloween didn't, in concept alone, in description alone, don't feel like goosebumps. They have pieces of goosebumps in there, but they don't feel like goosebumps. But I enjoy both in various degrees. I really like both a lot, like I said. And that could be the same case with this, but I'm still going to have the same criticism. If you're going to make a Goosebumps show, it needs to be an anthological show. Make it an anthology. There's no reason not to do that. If you don't do that, even if it's one-hour episodes to do any book story, if you go into, like, season-long storylines, you're going to mess it up. It's not going to be good. If it makes it to a season two, it's probably not going to be uh, sought after, if you will. And then you're just going to drop the budget, like the Flash and Arrow did, and then you're going to bomb horribly. And then we'll never see Goosebumps again. It'll be like another 30 years till we get another show and Stein will be long dead. And I might even be dead. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not thrilled with that. Anyway, um... <laughs> Brion, the Isa girl from uh, Star Trek, she's going to play a character who is typically has her head in a book, causing her classmates to think she is a snob, but she is just laser-focused on her writing and creating a life that is interesting enough for a memoir. Okay. You have the writing character. That's cool. I like those characters a lot of the time in movies I watch and books I read. I read a lot of Stephen King, so I've read a lot of this kind of character. The high school perspective adds something interesting to that. It'd be really cool if she was like a throwback to Lovecraft, but Disney would never celebrate Lovecraft, ever. Um, anyway, I don't know what I think about this stupid show. I want it to be good. I know I was kind of negative in the previous announcement for the story about this film. I was kind of negative, but let me be honest. I really hope it's good. I want it to be good. I just don't have faith in Disney. I don't. And I don't want to sit here and tell you guys it's going to be bad. But if it's good, you better believe I'll sit here and eat my words in front of you on camera. I'll sit here and say it to your face, or your screen, my screen, your screen, however that translates, that I was wrong. And I, again, I love Rob Letterman's films. The two films that he put out for Goosebumps, I like. I think they brought a lot of attention back to Goosebumps, really had younger audiences, especially really looking to the old stuff, the old books, the old shows, uh, the board games, all of that stuff, becoming new collectors, becoming fans of this series that was so great in the 1990s. But honest to God, I think Goosebumps is better when it's trapped in the 1990s. Unlike the newer Halloween movies or Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street, whatever we're talking about, some things need to stay in the era they were made. If you have Halloween films that are more 1980s, even though they were founded in 78, if you really stick to that, I think you'll get a lot more excitement about it. If you stick to Goosebumps being more of a 90s style property, feeling a lot like what the first season of this reboot of Are You Afraid of the Dark felt like, even though it wasn't perfect, it has flaws, it's kind of weak, if you stuck to more of that kind of thing with not too many episodes a season if you're going to have interconnected storylines, you could pull it off. You really could pull it off, I believe. And yet, ego and greed are what drive Disney a lot of the time. So I'm not super thrilled, <laughs> like I said. But I hope it's good, as I said. I don't need to tell you guys this every time I do a, a Goosebumps TV show reboot video, you know? Anyway, I assume we'll get more information soon about the show. I hope it's good. Anyway, what are your thoughts on the new casting announcements? Do you know any of these people from anything else? that I don't know about, that I didn't mention here, put that down in the comment section down below. Let's celebrate these people. They're part of the legacy of this series that we all love, that we talk about constantly on this channel and have for three years now. I would love to hear what more of you guys have to say about Goosebumps, the new TV show. What do you want from it? What do you uh, look forward to? What are you hoping for out of it? I'd love to hear all that down below, too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here, commenting, talking to me all the time. I really, really appreciate you guys. Talking to you guys in the Discord is really cool, too. God bless you guys. Happy Halloween. And that's it for this Goosebumps News video. Goodbye.